making progress in life and, and forward thinking, in theory at least. But uh, one school in Georgia, kind of going backward, mm, right, Jen? Here we go again. I hope <laughs> not. Yeah, it's back to school and back to mask mandates, at least at one private liberal arts school, Morris Brown College down in Atlanta. The school is requiring students and employees to wear masks in the building hallways and in classrooms for two weeks, citing reports of positive cases among students. School officials are also telling students to maintain social distancing, and they've banned all parties and student gatherings for the next two weeks. Other measures the school is taking include temperature checks on campus and contract, contact tracing. Now, masking up in Mark, is this, you know, this COVID resurgence that we're seeing, is this all just a big cover-up for Biden ahead of 2024? You know, he, he can go back to his basement. He doesn't have to participate in the presidential debates. Is, is that where we're headed? Well, I think the lunacy is returning, definitely. I mean, what, what did we not learn from 2020 and, and 2021? Yes, we are seeing uh, an increase in the number of cases, but we are, and we're seeing a slight uptick in deaths. But if you are health compromised, if you are at risk, wear a mask. Otherwise, leave me alone. Full stop, period. Well, it's two weeks to flatten the curve, too. Yeah. You know, it's got the two weeks uh, to flatten the curve. I remember that well. Mm -hmm. And uh, social distancing. Worked you're out just, so well, didn't it? You're, you're right, yeah. it did. And, <laughs> and we've learned a lot since then about masks and the surgical masks that really don't work, the cotton masks that don't work. Uh, you got an N95 mask. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they're uh, fairly effective. But we're, these people are back to two weeks to flatten the curve and yeah. social distancing, which isn't going to work the and, first few weeks of college. And we all Thank remember Fauci's song and dance, right? Oh, you know, masks, you know, wear a mask. They're effective. Then he told us they weren't. Then he said he you know, said they weren't because he didn't want panic buying. And so there was all that back and forth. And, and I think nobody trusts that, that advice anymore. I think, listen, if you want to wear a mask, you do you. Do your thing. I'm not going to judge you, but don't tell me what I have to do. Yeah, right. we've, we've seen this. I mean, I just moved in two of my college girls, and I got to tell you, the idea for them, if they have to wear a mask again, I think it causes tremendous trauma for these kids. They already had ha half of their high school or college experience destroyed. Um, and, it's, and just the psychological effects that these kids have had because of COVID, because of all these mandates, even the vaccine mandate at the time, you know, I think it's just had horrific repercussion on our youth. So, I mean, we've seen this, and it was actually the New York Times uh, which said they'd done this comprehensive analysis masks don't make a difference, whether it's the N95 mask or not. Uh, again, it should be up to the individual to do this. But again, having these colleges move in this direction, having Hollywood, I know that Lionsgate was another one, right. moving in this direction, it's, it's just, I think, I think it's detrimental, actually, to one's health. You're in a classroom, Jason. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think about this? Are we, are we heading back in the, the wrong direction here? I don't, I don't think we're headed back there. I think, you know, I, I'm not sure the circumstances at Morris Brown. It is, uh, or it just got its accreditation back. It's an HBCU. It's, it's very historic. A lot of heroes have come out of Morris Brown. And I'm not sure if they're trying to protect faculty members. I know we had a lot of faculty members who were older because professors tend not to retire, uh, and, you know, also staff members who were, who were compromised, and we wanted to keep them safe. But I, I think we're at a point now, uh, as Mark pointed out, where, for the most part, we are, we've gotten much better at treating COVID. Uh, people are not dying. People are not ending up on ventilators. We have the, the medicine uh, that people can take, the antivirals. So I, I think we're in a different place than we were in 2020. I'm not so sure that everyone needs to wear a mask, certainly people who are compromised. So you don't should. think it should be mandated then, for the record? No, I, I don't I don't think it should be mandated at this <laughs> point. Curious. You know, there people on the left do believe that, and no, they think, say, you know, that there should be mandates for There, there was a time where, where I think it made sense. I think right now, where we are in terms of the health care and how far we've come, we so don't So if we see it. a surge, though, you think it's okay to mandate masks? Um... I think if there's some sort of variant that is resistant to everything and, and it starts to explode like it did in 2020, maybe, but I don't see that, that necessarily. Well, coming. we're entering, entering into the 2024 oh, election 